So let's quickly talk about the 11 labs quota. So what is it? What is it all about? And how does it change overall? So the quota is going to be the amount of characters that you get every single month. Now, depending on the plan that you have, this is obviously going to change. So I will hover on over to the pricing plans. So with the free plan, you get 10,000 characters. Keep in mind that's characters. So, you know, if you use the word the, it's not one you know, because it's characters, so it's three. It's not by words, it's by characters. Currently, I have the starter because I want to upgrade a little bit more. This is going to be 30,000 characters per month. Then on to creator, you get 100,000, and it gives you the ability to add more at 30 cents per 1,000 characters if you want. And of course, as you go down, they're going to increase more. And there's something else I wanted to bring up when it comes to this. So what happens to my unused characters at the end of the month? Unused characters do not roll over into the next month. Your subscription will automatically renew with each billing cycle and your characters will reset. However, if you upgrade to a higher plan, kind of like what I just did, any unused characters from your previous plan will roll over into the next billing cycle. So I know that's a big deal because obviously depending on how many characters you're going to need, like how much volume you want to do, obviously you can always start off with free, test it out. And if you like it, you can improve upon there or upgrade, I guess you could say. So I just put, let's talk about the 11 laps quota. And you'll see right here, since I upgraded, I got like the previous, you know, that was left over plus the 30,000. So let's generate this. And anytime you click the generate button, that's when it's going to subtract from it. So I'll show you right now. Let's talk about the 11 labs quota. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind that you might not be familiar with in case you haven't used it yet, but that's going to be something that you're going to have to like mess around with or decide how much you're going to need for quota. But nevertheless, I did want to clear that up because I know it's a very big part of 11 labs and how often you're going to use it, how much you need and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's a very quick overview of the 11 labs quota and how it works and how, of course, you can change it or upgrade to get more. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.